The Pulse School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BASF. Hey, it's Jessica Goose here with realagriculture.com and joining me right now is Corey Jacob, a crop extension specialist with Saskatchewan Agriculture. Corey, thanks so much for being here today. Yeah, well, happy to be here. We're in a field, it's a little cold here, but just uh, the way that Real Agriculture does, we like to uh, give producers the knowledge uh, right in the midst of it. So uh, today we're talking about soil temperature and how to test for it. So maybe, Corey, first off, go over kind of why is it important to test for it? Because I would say, uh, not a lot of producers do test for it, uh, but they should. So soil temperature, basically crops germinate at certain temperatures. Now, if you're seeding too early and it's cold, basically this, it's just going to sit in the ground and not do anything. And that could, if it's prolonged cold, we could be stressing the crop more than we need to. That's, that's the main thing with, with soil temperature. Okay. And uh, how about do you actually test for it? Is there a certain time of day? Is there a certain kind of depth? What are we looking for? Typically thermometer, any thermometer that we, we could use. Time of day, we usually say take a reading earlier day and then mid or well beginning of the day, end of the day. Okay. Average the two, you get an idea of what you're at for temperature with, with the soil. And what exactly, I guess, are you trying to find in there? What's the ideal um, temperature when it does come uh, to thinking about getting in the field? I guess we're talking seed bed temperature. So most crops will germinate at five degrees Celsius. Uh, we'd like to say 10 degrees would be a little more optimal for, for germination with, with crops. It's going to vary a little bit, but that, that's a general rule of thumb. Okay, and you kind of touched on it there, but it's not nothing specific for canola, for uh, faba beans, for anything uh, kind of it's it's quite variable or it's quite the same it's that five variable. degrees actually canola and flax will germinate you know as low as two or three degrees celsius pulses and cereals closer to four or five okay we just don't want to see anybody planting at those temperatures because mm -hmm. that's very very risky to do mm -hmm. uh one thing i think to take note of especially uh during kind of april may is that you can get uh spring frost how does that uh, come into play so certain crops uh cereals will regrow after spring frost their, their growing points below the ground and then pulse crops will tolerate and regrow from a very light frost, so maybe minus two, minus three. Canola, uh, for example, the growing points above ground, uh, a frost in the cotyledon stage will will basically kill it and have no regrowth. Mm -hmm. That's why you always tell guys to kind of wait. We don't want to see uh, expect damaging something that's especially expensive like canola seed. Yeah, sure. Yeah, um, and I mean, in regards to pulses, is there kind of uh, something to be kind of scared about in there? Or not to be scared, but more to be like worried for. You know, pulses are really, they tolerate low temperatures quite well. That would be one crop we would be, you know, promoting to producers to think about seeding first because they can uh, handle the lower temperatures more than, say, you know, canola, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, they're pretty, I think peas and, and chickpeas might be a bit more tolerant of the cold than lentils, but quite small variations among the, among the different pulse crops. Mm -hmm. How exactly do you uh, test for uh, temperature? Is it as simple as just kind of uh, plugging the thermometer into the ground or? Yeah, we, uh, we're bringing the thermometer here. It's the generic one. We try to get into the seed bed and see what the temperature is. You can go a bit deeper, but that's basically all it is. Testing the uh, the, the soil temperature in the seed bed and, and seeing where you're at. That, that's all it really is. Mm -hmm. so. How long do you wait? to oh, kind of get that reading. It wouldn't take long. When you see the thermometer bottom out and not move anymore, I mean, I think ours stopped here within 30 seconds or a minute. And I could get a pretty pretty good idea where we're at for temperature. Okay. And uh, lastly here, when you are seeding into kind of some cold soil, uh, is seed treatment more or less important? You know, for the most part, seed treatment is, it's a cheap investment when we're talking about cold soils. Um, it can help with, with seed borne uh, diseases if, you, if you've got that in your, in your seed lot, as well as anything in the soil, uh, soil borne diseases. And that's the same with seed placed, fo or seed placed phosphorus to give us a pop up effect to help us get out of the ground in, in a colder condition. So we, 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 we would be promoting the use of those products in, in colder conditions. Cool. Well, thank you so much uh, for your time today, Cry. I really yep. appreciate it. Well, happy to have it. Thanks.